I understand that the way you've found this particular discovery is a little bit unusual in terms of how the genetic on-off switch works. Can you explain that a little bit? Yes, if, if you just take the original plants we had, they were mutant plants and they were drought resistant, but they didn't grow very well, so they, they grew very slowly. And one thing a farm will not grow, of course, is a plant, if, it's, if under good conditions it gives you a lower yield, and then obviously it's not going to grow it. You want to, so you want to main, maintain the yield under good conditions, uh, but under drought conditions to have a better yield than the, the, the parent plants. Um, so what we did, if you put the technology in and you have it turned on all the time, the plant doesn't grow very well. So we, we've got a, what, a, a thing called a promoter, which acts as a switch, turns the gene on and off. And this promoter only operates under drought conditions. So the, the switch turns on in the, under drought conditions and then turns off again as soon as it gets water. So the only time the technology is available to the plant is when it's under drought conditions. Under normal conditions, it's so it wasn't there. And the plant just grows normally. And so you don't get this, what we call yield drag, under good conditions. Amazing. Uh, well, I think this is going to be the whole art of doing plant biotechnology, is finding these switches. You turn genes on in the leaf or the root or under particular conditions so that you're not sort of, you don't have the technology operating all the time. You only have it operating exactly when you want to and where you want to in the plant.